Hello everyone my name is Mini Sethi I hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about history objectives and functions of international monetary fund as we know great depression during 1929 to 39 and world war second between 1939 to 45 created adverse impact on our global economy because during war our so many human and physical capital was destroyed every country won to recover from this situation that's why an international monetary conference was convened in july 1944 at bretton woods in america and it was attended by representatives of 44 countries and during conference they decided to set up two institution name of first institution is international monetary fund and name of second institution is international bank for reconstruction and development or we can say the world bank in today's video we will only discuss about international monetary fund so let's start it so international monetary fund in short we can say the imf is an international organization and imf came into existence on december 27 1945 and imf is an organization of 190 countries means currently it consists of 190 countries as a member and they are working to secure financial stability facilitate international trade promote high employment increase economic growth and reduce poverty around the world now we are going to talk about objectives of imf first objective of imf is international monetary cooperation imf provide monetary help to their member countries or we can say the imf provide monetary assistance to low income member countries second objective is to ensure stability in foreign exchange rate uh, before second world war there was lot of instability in foreign exchange rate which create very adverse impact on our economy but imf ensure stability in foreign exchange rate next objective of imf is to promote international trade imf promote international trade by removing all obstacle in the way of international trade next objective is to eliminate disequilibrium in balance of payment as we know disequilibrium in balance of payment means when our balance of payment either goes in surplus or deficit and deficit balance of payment is very harmful for growth of any country but imf help to reduce deficit in balance of payment next the objective is help members during emergency imf provide short term monetary help to their member countries during emergency next objective is profitable investment in capital imf help to their member countries to invest their money in profitable activity that's why imf provide special help to rich countries so that they can invest their money in poor countries when rich country invest their money in poor countries then output income and employment also increase in poor country and it will also grow now we are going to talk about functions of imf functions of imf basically divided into three parts regulatory functions financial functions and consultative functions one by one we discuss about each so firstly we are going to talk about regulatory functions regulatory functions are related to regulation or control on certain activities regulatory functions are related to regulation or control on certain activities being as a regulatory body imf regulate exchange rate because it's aim to maintain stability in exchange rate when a country become a member of imf they have to declare the value of their currency in term of gold or dollar and being as a regulatory body IMF fix maximum and minimum limit for value of any currency now we are going to talk about financial functions of IMF IMF provide loans to low income countries for poverty reduction IMF provide loans to low income countries for poverty reduction second thing IMF provide credit facilities to their member countries so that they can correct their disequilibrium in balance of payment and these credit facility include basic credit facilities extended fund facility and compensatory financing facility Now we are going to talk about consultative functions of IMF. Consultative functions are related to advice, suggestions, or recommendation. IMF is a source of counsel for its member. Means whenever their member face any problem, IMF give them their advice or suggestion. IMF also provide technical assistance to its member. Technical assistance means IMF provide expertise and training to their member so that they can increase their capacity and implement it for making effective policies. This is. 
is all about uh, history functions and objectives of IMF I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care